Hey you guys, welcome to Roll with Tay Tay. Today is really gonna be for the sign of Gemini. Take a risk and leave it. Don't don't try to force anything. This could be your story, and again, it could be someone else's story. But it's most definitely a general reading, so it's not gonna resonate with everyone. Spirit, can I have three cards for the sign of Gemini? Anything that the Gemini needs to know today. This could be you or the other person, you guys. Give me three cards on the sign of Gemini. Some of you guys are mourning a situation. You're feeling the loss. This could be um, a physical loss, you guys. But this is somebody that's missing. They're dwelling. They're mourning. They're crying. It's like some type of despair. But it's like you're feeling the loss of something here, you guys. Some of you guys are about to get some type of promotion that you've been hoping and wishing for. But it's like a lot of you guys are, it's like you've been through something and you feel like this right here really did a number on you guys. Like it really took you places that you wasn't really trying to go. The conflict, the change, the challenges. Um, a lot of you guys was arguing a lot. But it's like you're trying to move away from this. You're still trying to come out like a champion that you are. Um, it's like you're not wanting something to defeat you here. But I also see there's some type of um, connection here that somebody is wanting to work on. They're wanting to come together. Some of you guys could be in same-sex relationships. But it's like somebody's very much still hopeful and wishing. I also see someone here is drinking. Give me more here, Spirit. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for the sign of Gemini? Give me more. See, it's like somebody is most definitely wanting to come in and see if, if things can be repaired, if things can be fixed. It's like they're ready to move forward, come out of this conflict. Some of you guys are dealing with a cancer. But it's like somebody here is most definitely keeping their eye on somebody. They're interested if they will be up to work on this connection. Are you are you willing to work on this if, if, if we had another chance at this would you think about it because it's like somebody's most definitely ready to move forward here you guys they want to come out after some type of heartbreak some type of disconnect you could be in separation from this person you guys somebody could have found something out it could have been around the workplace with some of you guys give me more here spirit give me more It's like somebody stop investing in something. Somebody stop investing into like a Sag, Leo, or Aries. It's like you stop giving your time or this person stop giving their time because of something that they learned, something that they found out that broke their heart. Give me more here. Give me more here, Spirit. Give me more. See, it's like something most definitely came in to kind of deceive somebody and it's like it broke the trust it messed up the bond here you guys but it's like now this person is ready to do right it's like they're no longer wanting to be sneaky and conniving it's like this person is most definitely feeling alone at this time they're feeling some type of abandonment it's like you left this person out in the cold give me more this person could be reaching out to you guys and it's like you're not, you're not, you're not opening up, but it's like somebody is determined to come in and move forward here, you guys. It's like somebody is ready to come in and open up emotionally and express themselves. They want to get back on good terms. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more. <clears throat> this person here has been through a lot, you guys. This is the Queen of Swords. She's very hard working he or she ain't very hard working. Been through a lot, been through a lot of hurt, but this person is still strong. It's like you want to come in, you want to talk to this person, but it's like this person is willing to talk to you, but you have to come in the correct way. You have to come in with the truth. No more sneaky, no more lying, no more being deceptive here. You have to come in with the truth here, you guys. Give me more on the six of wands. Give me more. Why is the six of wands here for the sign of Gemini? 
So it's like somebody is most definitely want to move forward with this connection. You could be married to this person or been with this person for a while. It's like you see this relationship going the distance. Like it can lead to some type of legacy. Um, generations. But somebody is most definitely has been wounded by something here, you guys. Someone here could be in a wheelchair. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more. It's like somebody has chosen the path of being single. They could have brought up some type of divorce or something dealing with or some type of separation. Um, it could be a temporary separation. Give me more here, spirit. Could be dealing with a Libra. It's like somebody is wanting to come in with some type of an apology. Balance the scales back. Give me more. See, it's most definitely dealing around some type of commitment here, you guys. The family life. It's like somebody could have thrown up some type of divorce. And it's like they haven't really made up their mind just yet. It's a head over heart decision if they do decide to do that, you guys. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more. <laughs> It's like somebody has been through a lot, but it's like now this person is ready to open up and reveal things that was unknown to someone. This person could be ready to open up emotionally and express themselves when it comes down to this family, guys. This is most definitely around some type of connection here. Somebody is ready to open up and reveal the way that they feel. It's like their love for you runs deeper than the ocean here. Their emotions for you, like somebody could have felt like they was drowning in their emotions and wasn't able to open up and express their stuff. It's like somebody is ready to open up now. It's like somebody's still very much hopeful when it comes down to this connection, this relationship. This is something most definitely tied to a family, a foundation, um, your home life, kids, your stability. It's like somebody is not wanting to leave or wanting somebody to come back. It's like, I don't want you to go. I'm hoping and wishing that you decide to come back. Give me more. Because it's like I'm looking at things from another perspective now. I understand exactly what, what happened with this disconnect, with this heartbreak. And it's like I understand now what I did or what you have done. And it's like I, I'm, my heart is hurting without you. And I'm still hoping and wishing that there's another opportunity that I can start something new. We can start something new again. See, I want to bring the passion back into this. I want a brand new beginning here. I want to create something with you. Give me more here, spirit. Give me more on the three of swords. Give me more. It's like somebody... Somebody saw something or somebody is watching someone here. It's like they're trying to uh, follow their intuition when it comes down to this. But it's like discovering, researching, curious about someone. Give me more. Somebody is most definitely still watching someone after a separation. But it's like this person has most definitely got some type of enlightenment here. They're looking at things from another perspective. It's like somebody is most definitely ready to rush in. And communicate something here. Give me more. See, it's like somebody has been praying and hoping and trying to manifest a new opportunity. I see somebody rushing back in to open up emotionally, express themselves. It's like, can I take you out? Can we just go out and out to eat or something? And can we just talk about this coming back together? Give me more here, spirit. Because it's like somebody most definitely worried and kind of stressed out here. You guys, you're up. You're not able to sleep right. Even if you fall asleep, you're finding yourself waking up a few hours later. Dang, I sound like Lena Williams. But it's like somebody is most definitely still hoping and praying, trying to manifest this beginning back here. They want a new beginning. Give me more on this Ten of Pentacles. See, this is most definitely dealing with a marriage or a connection. But it's like somebody could be most definitely guarding and protecting their energy at this moment. Not allowing you to end. This person could also have you blocked. Give me three more cards. But somebody's most definitely want to move forward and come out successful. Yes, this is a past person. This will make you happy, you guys. If you can get back into this marriage and connect with this person once again, just be happy. This is somebody that you have been knowing for a while. This is a soulmate connection.